As a nation, we celebrate today, the 4th of July, we celebrate our independence. But we come here today, each Sunday, to celebrate our dependence on God as his holy people, and we come here to celebrate our faith. Today's gospel passage, we hear the famous words of Jesus. He says, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his, in his own house. I don't know about you, but I have heard many homilies in the past about this very line in scripture. And so as I was reflecting on the readings for this weekend, I was drawn to the last line of the gospel passage for today which says that he, Jesus, was amazed at their lack of faith. He was amazed at their lack of faith. In three of my previous assignments, an area of responsibility for me has been to visit the parish school regularly and to celebrate school masses with the students and the faculty. It has always amazed me to see how the students' faith grow and prosper each year. But it always amazes me how children, no matter what age, possess such deep and profound faith. Oftentimes for a school mass, I have a dialogue homily with the students, and every time it has amazed me how deep their faith is. It's rather remarkable. But as we grow older, sometimes our faith is shaken, or its growth is stunted, or individuals try to stifle another person's faith. Why does that happen? Seems as we grow older, we should be growing in wisdom not the other way around. For we are called to nourish and feed our faith, and so in turn, nourish others' faith through our actions. God gives us the gift of faith. He plants the seed. But what do we do about it? Do we nourish and water those seeds, or do we just ignore them? Today's gospel calls us to check, to check the depth of our faith. Do we regularly practice the faith? Do we come to Mass to be nourished by the Word and the body and blood of our Lord? Do we come because we thirst for that nourishment? Or do we come just out of a sense of obligation? or because someone told us that we had to come. Let us today truly check the depth of our faith. Let us ponder our responses and see if adjustments should be made. It's okay to make adjustments. So may the Lord see our faith in our thoughts, our words, and our actions always, and may he not be amazed at the lack of our faith.